Hey, um, this is Perry here. We are going to do a little demo on the TouchMix 8 and potentially get into this, the new speakers too. Um, one problem that um, my band and I were having the other night was just using these new um, uh, 87A's um, condenser mics. We're, we're getting a lot of feedback if you were trying to pump up the volume. So one of the features on this QSC uh, TouchMix 8 is that it has some feedback um, diagnosing and eliminating, um, kind of like a robot, kind of tests the, the room and uh, diagnoses where you're, getting, where you're getting the feedback and then el eliminates it. So we wanted to go over that particular piece today and um, show you how you can dial in this TouchMix 8. So this is our current configuration in the room, basically. We have two vocalists up front, you know, we got our, you know, in the front of the drums here. And so that speaker usually is for me, and then this speaker is usually for my partner who do mostly does harmonies and stuff, not a lot of lead vocals, but then he's got a microphone up here. But that's, you know, our our whole room is probably, you know, 14 by 14. And, um, you know, it's a fairly small room, but, uh, you know, we got the bass amp over there, my guitars right here, my guitar amps, and then my partner's uh, guitar amp is just over here. So, and that's, you know, and the drums, of course, are, you know, smack dab in the middle of the room. And, um, you know, that's all our sound that we need for our rehearsals. So, uh, anyway, so what would you recommend starting as, you know, to, to dial in the, the vocals? Um, well, sure, let's go ahead and take a look at what, um, where each of the mics are coming in. So, I'm assuming that this is one of the vocal mics. Yep, that's my vocal, the one that's closest, closest one. yep. This is the second one. Yep. Perfect. There might be a... I think there is a little, uh, that cable's not great, so. Gotcha, gotcha, cool. So it looks like fan power is on in each, so that's yep. great. So let's see if we go in and select the channel. Now we can look at the overview screen. Um, and the biggest thing that I would always start with is the low cut filter, yeah. or also called high pass filter. So, um, you know, we can tailor this to what, what our sound needs are, but I would always recommend, cool if I change this? Yeah. I would probably recommend starting, you know, maybe at 100 or even a little higher. Maybe start at 150 just to, to start there. And that's for vocals. For vocals. Yeah. 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 Yep, exactly. So I'll do that. On that channel, I'll go to the next channel, input two, and I'll do the same. Make sure that little cut is maybe start around 150 and, and go from there as well. Cool. There are also some presets that you could use. So there's go into vocals, music, uh, you know, male vocal, uh, good place to start as well. So if we go back to the overview screen, now let's see what the, um, what the monitors are being sent as. So um, are, the, are these set up as aug sends? No, they're just coming out the mains. Oh, okay, gotcha. So our main mix over here is selected and we can go in and we actually have a a graphic EQ on the output bus of the mains. Okay. So we have a graphic EQ, and we also have a parametric EQ that we can use. Oh, wow. And yeah. there's also, in addition to that, there's also an anti-feedback filter. So oh. if, we, if we engage this and uh, you know, slowly turn up the sound system until it's starting to feedback a little bit, it's going to grab a couple of frequencies and notch those out with a really uh, narrow notch filter to notch out some of these wow. Uh, feedback. So should we try system. that? Let's give it a shot. Okay, so how do we do that exactly? So you would turn up this, the, the microphones or we turn up the whole, the main? Uh, you know, either way, we could turn up the mics until it's, yeah, or, and the main until it starts to feedback a little bit. So. Okay. So basically what it, what this, the little instructions are saying here is that if we just start this, this EQ wizard, it kind of, as long as, you know, as long as you have volume on the speakers and volume on the mic, it'll start to raise the uh, level of the master until it 
uh, starts to sense or hear uh, feedback, and then it'll start to apply the feedback eliminator wizard deal. So that's the theory. Let's see if it works. Now maybe since that's cranked, we'd start turning up the mics, maybe. Yeah. But is the feedback deal working right now? I'm not sure. I think I paused it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So we've seen a uh, couple narrow band notch filters being added to the to the feedback frequencies that it has sensed. Um, so where will we see those applied? Will that will we see those applied on the graphic or the parametric EQ um, for the overall uh, main left right output? Uh, uh, I think yeah. So if we click on the mains, it'll be applied to the anti-feedback tab. Okay, so it's just, but it, so it won't actually, like if you press uh, graphic EQ, it won't, it doesn't actually apply it to that. It's just its own separate, Correct. separate uh, panel. And yeah. do you know, okay, so it looks like um, cuts here at 1.15K, which is extremely precise. I mean, you know, uh, on something like a, on the something like a, you know, a, a little Mackie, you know, parametric EQ like a little board, you're never gonna be able to get that precise, right. not even close. Yeah, no right. So precise. this is very very cool. And then so it's got a cut of 9.5 on 1.15, cut of 7.9, and. Um, 1.36k, I see. So it's just um, these these four down here. And that's probably a good place to start. Yeah. If you start, you know, you're never going to 100% eliminate feedback because you have a microphone going through a speaker, and the, you know, and it's, if you keep raising and raising the volume, you're just fighting physics at that point. So yeah. There's no way to defeat physics. But yeah. There's ways, little tricks like this that we can add more game before feedback to our system. Yeah. Well, I mean that you can already tell it's it's eliminated a, a lot of it. So, what's the next step if we wanted to? Let's see. Let's see what the volume is here. Hey, check one two, check 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 one two. Hey hey. 